Hello world, Shelly here, and it's time for the very first Foundation Fest episode of 2021. Happy New Year, everybody. Today I'm going to check out from Myzon the Snail Repair Intensive BB Cream. This retails for $12.90 over on Yes Style. And the reason I am checking this one out is because I absolutely love the Snail Clearing BB Cream from Purito, which was recently discontinued. Yes, they replaced it with the Rawr Sika Clearing BB Cream, but I just wanna see if I can find another snail version that I enjoy. This one is SPF 50 with PA++. I've got this in the lightest shade 21. There are four shades of this and we're gonna check it out, see how it goes. This is described as having 35% snail slime. Yes, they use the word slime. It's a hypoallergenic BB cream reinforced with a broad spectrum SPF 50 and PA++ sun protection. It looks like it is primarily a uh, mineral sunscreen. Buildable coverage significantly blurs blemishes while correcting uneven skin tone to give skin a hydrated glow, free from parabens, artificial fragrances, and suitable for sensitive skin. Ziva is getting in on the action. Right, Ziva? You want to show everybody? Say hi? Well, well that was unintentional. Sorry. <laughs> She's fine. She always is. So shall we take a look at the shade 21 swatched against a few others in my collection? You know what time it is. On Fridays we swatch. First up is today's foundation from Myzon, the Snail Repair Intense BB Cream in shade 21. Second, I've got from Purito, the Sika Clearing BB Cream, also in shade 21. I would say the Purito is a little bit more of a gray undertone than the Maison. Third up from Yensa, I've got the BC Foundation Skin on Skin in shade Light Neutral, which I think is very close to this Maison. Fourth is from Wet n Wild, the Dewy Photo Focus in shade Shell Ivory. And last, from CoverGirl, I've got the True Blend Matte Made in shade L15. I already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 46-year-old face. You always want to go in with sunscreen, even if your makeup has sunscreen in it. Put down a full sunscreen. You are very rarely going to apply enough of a makeup product to get the stated SPF coverage. So wear your sunscreen, peoples. And I have primed with the Pop Beauty Afterglow Primer, which has a little more of a champagne tint to it than I normally go for, but we will see how this rolls. I'm going to go in on one side of my face with a sponge. This is a dampened Real Techniques sponge. I'm going to use fingertips for the other side because BB cream, I very often kind of just roll with it and apply with fingertips. And so that's what we will use for the fuller coverage side. We will see if there's a difference one way or the other. This blends out quite nicely. It seems like the shade 21 is very similar to other shade 21s that I've had in various Korean beauty products. This is a K-Beauty brand. It is blending out nicely with the sponge. I would say we are approaching medium coverage right out of the gate with this one. I can barely see sunspots poking through here. So the coverage is quite nice with the sponge right away. That is quite lovely. Let's try the fingertip side. I don't notice any kind of a scent with this product at all, which is nice. I would say that you definitely get slightly fuller coverage when applying with fingertips. I think it looks equally pretty on either side, so whatever your preference is. I do have a little bit of peeling going on and I can barely see it, which is nice. It's not accentuating any of that peeling skin. It even looks pretty smooth on my nose. Let's zoom in and take a look at this one. This is doing a fairly remarkable job at pore blurring. Like a lot of my pores have disappeared. My area around my mouth, I have a little peeling, but you really can't see it at all. It's not smoothing my fine lines around my mouth, but it's not accentuating them and it's not settling into them. 
This is really nice coverage right away. I really do think you can get a solid medium coverage quite easily out of this. My nose looks exceptionally smooth. In between my eyebrows, nothing's accentuating texture. My forehead looks nice. I think this looks really, really nice starting out. I'm okay with this. I would call this, let me look at a distance. It's not matte. I'd call it satin. I'd say we're we're not even in quite dewy territory. It's it's a step back from being a dewy finish. Natural looking satin finish, little bit of reflect, little bit of bounce of light. You can kind of see on my forehead. It's a nice finish. I'm I'm okay with where we're at starting this out. Let's check the time. It is 3:24. Let me go put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. And we're back. You actually have already seen how I got this makeup look. This is my Pop Beauty try-on. So you can check that video out from earlier this week if you missed it. This foundation, I did not have to set it with powder. Not at all, no powder setting. And I decided since the coverage was so nice, I used this as concealer as well. What do you think? I think it turned out pretty good, huh? Hey, boo-boo, what are you doing? I don't know where that came from, but here we are. This is super smooth. That is what I'm digging the most about this. The textured side of my face right now looks barely more textured than the non-textured side. And normally they look like two different people. Like, my nose, still smooth. It's been about an hour. It's about 4.30 right now. In fact, I need to go get the daylight check-in because there's almost no daylight left. But looking super, super, super smooth. Very pleased about that. The rest of my face is pop beauty. I will li list it all down below and you can... Well, and there's a few other. I'll link it all down below as I always do. And you can watch me get this look if you want to check out that video. All right, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop this and go outside because there's no sunlight left. And I need a daylight check-in. So I'll be right back with that. And then I'll come back tonight and give you guys my final thoughts. Hey guys, it's been only about an hour. So there hasn't been much wear on the foundation yet, but we're almost out of daylight. So I figured I would get out here. Look how smooth this one is, you guys. I think the color match is just fine for me. Let's see if I can get the light evenly. I think this looks really nice. Wow, my eyes are so puffy. It's been, it's been a rough couple weeks, you guys. It's been a lot of crying, a lot of crying. But, uh, just means I gotta get more more of my tight eye going on. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty happy with this so far. I think it looks lovely and I think the color match is good. So I will be back tonight in quite a few hours because it's still early, you guys. And we'll wrap this one up. 12.34 a.m. That puts us right around the nine hour mark. Let's take a look at how the Mizon Snail Repair Intensive BB cream held up. Pretty doggone good, you guys. I think it looks quite nice. It's a little bit more dewy than it started out. I'm looking specifically at my forehead, but other than that, and that's not a bad thing, I don't think. I actually like it a little bit more like this than when it started out. It's very comfortable. It feels super lightweight. I feel no sense of dryness, no sense of dehydration, no irritation, nothing like that going on at all. Let's zoom in and take a look. As far as this one goes, I see a little bit of coverage gone around my nose and a little bit missing around my mouth. It's starting to break down just a tiny bit on my chin but this is kind of the look that I would say it's probably got a couple more hours good to go in it. It's really just barely starting to break down right now. 
blush bronzer highlights still totally intact. The smoothing component and the blurring of pores I think is just as nice now as it was to start out with, maybe even a little better. Nothing's caking up between my eyebrows. My forehead still looks nice. No product is bunching up or gathering up anywhere. It's not really settling into any lines. Even my, my deepest chin line, really no problem at all. Nothing accentuated with my smile lines. So generally speaking, like all the major boxes that I tick, I'm looking for something that's not gonna dry me out for dry skin. I'm looking for something that is not going to accentuate any kind of fine lines. Preferably, I'd like something that smooths out my textured side of my face, and preferably, I would like a long wear time. So, it's really checking all my boxes. If I had to give a grade to the Maison Snail Repair BB Cream, I gotta give it an A. It's beautiful. Of course, I wish it was in more shades. Of course, being a K-Beauty brand, they rarely are. They're generally not. There's a handful of shades they address. So that is my one hope and dream and wish for this one. But it's checking all the boxes. SPF 50. It's beautiful. I really like it. It wears well. Do I like it as much as the Purito? It's a little little underneath that and I think that is going to be primarily due to my preference of the finish on the Purito. That's a personal preference really. So this one's right up there though. I, I enjoy this quite a bit. And did I remember to say at the beginning of this that you get one point, I think it's 1.6, it's 50 mils. Yeah, 1.69 fluid ounces of product in here, which Based on the price, the regular price is what, $12.90? It makes it like less than $8 an ounce. It's a really reasonably priced BB cream as well. So there's that. I feel like I forgot to say that in the beginning. Maybe I didn't. Editing Shelly can figure this out. But there you have it. We're gonna go A for the Maison. Another episode of Foundation Fest is in the books if you like foundation reviews. If you had a good time with this one, give me a thumbs up down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.